My name is Stacy Bransma. I'm from Alberta, Canada, but I've been living and working in Zambia for the last two and a half years as a planning, monitoring, evaluation, and learning officer. The organization that I work for partners with local Zambian NGOs and schools to provide financial and technical support for programs in agriculture, health, and education. My role is to act as a liaison between our partners and my organization, supporting them by building partner capacity in program planning, monitoring evaluations, and writing donor reports. I studied biology and international development for my undergraduate degree, thinking I wanted to work in environmental policy. But during a semester abroad in Belize, I did a short internship at the Community Baboon Sanctuary. In Belize, slash and burn agriculture is extremely common, and the staff at the sanctuary were working with the community members to protect their trees for the black howler monkey's habitat. At one of their regular community meetings, one man was yelling in typical Belizean fashion, why should I keep a couple of trees to save a few monkeys when I really just need to feed my family? And that really stuck with me, and I realized that environmental stewardship was a luxury. So I changed my focus and decided to work in development instead. I took a position in Cambodia working with agricultural cooperatives and facilitating a household economic survey prior to accepting this position in Zambia. I think that I was a bit naive when I arrived here in Zambia. I expected that development would have actually been having an impact and that it would be obvious and easily determined. Learning about development in university is a bit misleading because it seems so easy. It seems as if we already know what to do and what will have the greatest impact. But that's not what I've experienced. I kept asking what I thought were relatively simple questions, but I never got satisfactory answers. Why aren't we seeing improvements in test scores if we're providing textbooks? Why are we preaching conservation agriculture if no one seems interested in doing it? I wasn't happy with the anecdotal success stories that people were telling me. And I started to think to myself, am I missing something? Is this really the best we can do? I became quite disillusioned, but I kept searching for answers. An article about a randomized control trial in Lusaka, Sandy's capital, caught my eye. It showcased Innovations for Poverty Action and their experiment, which tested whether or not teaching negotiation skills for teenage girls would reduce the number who drop out of school. I was interested in the intervention, but what really caught my eye was the fact that someone was actually researching a social program. This article led to many hours of reading about IPA and the Poverty Action Lab, eventually reading Poor Economics a few times, and led me to this MicroMasters program. I finally found others who were answering the questions that had bothered me. The MicroMasters program is really exciting for me because it's not just based in theory, but it matches what I see on the ground. There are so many instances where I find myself nodding my head or laughing with a professor because I know exactly what they're talking about. It's incredible to see such a strong connection between the classroom and the field. The MicroMasters credential also works well with my life. I can still participate in this program while living and working in Zambia. I want to continue a career in development and I know that this program will help me continue on that path. Through my fascination with economics, development, and my background in scientific research, I have found a program that works well for me and fits my career goals.